Welcome back producer friends, another dive in live tutorial. And today I'm going to be talking about how to extract a chain from a drum rack. So in the previous one, we talked about multi-clip editing, where you can have all your elements in separate channels and then select multiple MIDI clips to see all of those channels, right? Let's say you didn't want to work in separate channels, but later on you decide you do want to work in separate channels. That happened to me here with this track. This is the track. And the kick drum was originally here and you see it's empty. Now, why is it empty? Well, I extracted it and now it created this bass drum in a separate um, drum rack. So I can do this for multiple of the sounds that are going here. So this is the one where the rides come in. If I open it up, see here are the rides. If I go to the channel and I click on the ride, I see the chain of that ride. I can right click and say extract chains. And then you see now it created a new drum rack here with just that ride in and just the MIDI of that ride. And the ride now is gone from here as well as the MIDI. So if you decide to make a drum, like a drum rack like I did here, I made a full drum rack with some 909 samples that I really, really like. It's the Gold Baby samples. Uh, I have them for many years and I used to use them in my Electron as well. Um, and then like I sequence them there, but it's nice to sometimes work within one rack and just build your build your groove inside of that one clip. Uh, but maybe later on for mixing purposes, you want to take them out. So this is the way to do it. You go to the drum rack, you click on the chain you want, right click and extract chain. Another way, because there's a second way to do it, you can go to the session view, you open up the drum rack you have. Let's say I want to take out this clap. This clap, I right click and say extract chain. And here you go, it extracted just the clap. So this is the way to extract chains from your drum rack. If you didn't know, then uh, I hope it inspired you. Uh, if you want to read more about it, you can always go to help, read the live menu, as well as for the previous one that I did, you can go to look in the menu and see multi-clip editing and see all the little details that you need to know about it in there. And uh, the same goes for extract chains from a drum rack. It's a really nice uh, feature of Ableton. So I hope this helped. Um, give a like and a subscribe if you like what I do, and I'll see you at the next one.